Welcome everyone to the third part of TensorFlow Object Detection Tutorial. In this part, I am going to join first and second part of previous tutorials. In first part, I shown you how to install Python, how to prepare all your repositories files to begin working with object detection on TensorFlow. And in second part, I was showing you three different ways how to grab a screen from a from your monitor and we were showing how fast they are working and why are we choosing one or another way. So in this tutorial I will join these two parts and simply we'll need script where we could grab our screen. So at first as you can see here I have two files so I'll show you where I got them. So at first here's the TensorFlow Detection Module Zoo page on GitHub. I'll, I'll show you, I'll give you a link to this page and here I downloaded Faster Recurrent Neural Network Inception V2 Coco model. This is the final model and we will use it for our purposes. So okay. And second is that we we begin with TensorFlow TensorFlow okay we go to research object detection and here this is a label map you can get it from your TensorFlow object detection repository when you go to data and here it is and this file gives us all the all what we need. So here's our, all the pertinent model names. So person, bicycle, car, motorcycle, airplane, bus, and here's here's 19, 19 names. So close to one hundred. So so you know. Okay. Uh, now when we have two of these we need to to get our python file so let's go back to our object detection we copy repository cmd open it our repository and here we write jupyter notebook Doo -doo -doo. The same we did in our first tutorial, and same we are doing now. So I'll, I'll copy one line here that I could work on CPU because it takes more time to do stuff on GPU on the back end. So right, CUDA visible devices and here we will write minus one I hope this will work and okay let's it should work but I can run it or I can first I'll export our script python file okay keep and now i can run it and now while it's running i can work with our script copy okay and we are going to our file where we will working paste It will take some time, so I'll just open Python idle and here we'll begin with modifying our code a little. So what we need is our second tutorial code. So we go back to our web page and I go to my my own page where I have this code. So I open it. I should make it smaller like this okay 
and okay what I'll need is these imports then I'll need six more size we won't need this I think and tar file also we don't need collections io matplotlib we won't need it we won't need it so i'll comment this in the end i'll when i'll upload the code i'll do everything better to remove this but for now that it could be faster i'm just doing like this and okay let's move from object detection we don't need this 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 and we need to import these lines to our code so I will import them here somewhere okay so you can see these utils don't have object detection so add the, I need to add them next we are let's check our object detection yeah as you can see it worked so it means this code is working so we'll use it okay Now we'll move with our code and here we need to change our directory so I'll change model file we don't need the node base we don't need because we already have our model path to frozen graph okay we have it locally here so we'll just remove this line path to labels we also have them here and I'll call model or model like this and here we need additional line where we'll write num classes equal to 99 it's it should be 90 but we'll, we'll write 99 okay what else we don't need this line this line this line I'll just command them detection grab will need so I leave it and we need label map so label map is equal to label map until load Label map label map and here I simply will add path to label map. Next line I'll add categories. And here we write invert label map to categories. And here we'll write label label map. and max num categories I think like this oh no sorry not like this but maximum number of classes 
equal to num classes and here we write use display name equal to true okay should be fine here and one more line i think category index index equal to label map till create category index category index categories here let me check if i wrote everything correct label map till convert label map to categories load label label map path labels yeah i think it should be fine if something will be wrong we'll receive an error so okay let's move forward category index yeah we had it i didn't saw so but it's a little different than we wrote so let's comment this the path to test image we don't need it anymore we don't need it we don't need it and we won't need also this load so let's comment all this and this is the main code run inference for single image we don't need to change this and we'll work right now here on our main code so i'll change this line here all right well true we do something and now i need here a few lines so if detection graph as default then i need with tensorflow session and here graph equal to detection graph will write s session and it should be fine i'll just move it a little bit okay and now i need to copy another few lines from my previous code so i take these lines two lines it's not much and copy them here i change Im I image image to image or i will yeah everything be okay let's come in this and we are converting here image image okay it's fine here and now i need to copy what's left and plt we don't need this and here we paste our code little fix it like this That should work I think and let me double check it and but I think everything should be fine 
you don't need to load image to numpy array image np let's do it like this okay and here I can I will change np because we imported numpy as np and and the final image should be also image np to show yeah I think it's everything fine here and now we can build it save it and let's try to build it I hope there won't be any errors but if there will we'll try to fix them and keep in mind that I'm right now run, running it on CPU not GPU and as you can see everything is fine it's working I'll minimize it and and as you can see it's working really slow it takes one frame per five seconds in Exeter will be working on this because we can't do anything with it because this is too slow and I, I know I think I know how I will, how I will do this but I'm not sure how it will go but idea is to work on GPU and to find a code to make the code better to work it much much faster and in, that's what we will be working on next tutorial and after that we'll be working with custom data and I'll show you how you could make your object detection on your own oh by the way we can try to Add, uh, open a web page to see how it works to open for example Google okay and let's write car for example images and let's wait for it to load okay as you can see it detects here is a lot of cars what it sees here we can move forward find something interesting for us yeah sport car 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 everywhere is cars so as you can see it it's working we can all use all the same with webcam or video but you need to change this in code but I did this with grab screen so that's all for this video I hope that this was useful for you if you have any questions be sure to leave them in comment section below this video if you like my video you know what to do smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel then you'll get more of my videos text version of these tutorials and all links will be left in the video subscription Thank you all for watching, good luck and see you in the next tutorial.